Hey Rock guys, this is Double Dog here with the Last Chance Cook-Off Collaboration. Now, a couple things went wrong. This is like take two, uh, because my cameraman before, T-Rock, my buddy, I went through the whole thing and he didn't even start the camcorder. So, <laughs> the other thing that happened was I was gonna do pizza, I was gonna build a pizza oven, and I was gonna do pizza, and about a week or two ago, uh, Drunken Barbecue Chef and Little Chef did a collab with Gorilla Joe and Little Gorilla, and they did pizza on a grill. So I'm like, man, I can't do that that reason ago. So I come over here, and we're gonna make Haluski, which is a Middle European dish from Czechoslovakia, Romania, things like that. Now the ingredients that we'll need for this, and it's still going to be outside over a camping grill, and as you see here, I already cut the bacon in half. It's black pepper thick cut bacon. Okay, and then we have an onion, we have garlic, we have cabbage, like I said, here's the bacon I already cut. We have Parmesan cheese. Now you can use the fresh Parmesan cheese. This is just grated Parmesan cheese. We are going to be using salt, pepper, chicken stock, and we have some noodles here that have been pre-boiled now, when you boil noodles like this, if you use chicken stock or chicken broth, what it'll do is it'll flavor the noodles up. Now, you wanna use chicken broth when you're using pork products because then that way, if you were using beef broth or beef stock, it would overpower the flavor of the pork. So you don't wanna do that. Now, before we do anything, which I've already done, is we wanna go over knife safety. When you, when you take a knife, you wanna pinch it right there and grasp it. And you always wanna use a sharp knife because if you use a knife that's not as sharp, not as easy to cut through things, you have more of a chance of an accident if you cutting yourself. So you wanna grip it firmly. Now, if you drop a knife, don't try to catch it, just back up. Because of the fact you're not a ninja, you're not gonna catch it. And if you do catch it, you can catch it with a blade and cut yourself. So. I've already chopped up some onions and garlic. And what you wanna do actually, I'm not gonna cut this one up because I already got it, but I'm, I'm gonna show you. When you cut it, you wanna cut away from the root side. You wanna cut the other side, slice it off. Okay, and then once you slice it off, it's no longer round to where it'll roll on you. It, <clears throat> it'll be flat. Well, you wanna cut that off and then you wanna trim a piece off the bottom. And when you trim that piece off the bottom, uh, what's gonna happen is it's not gonna roll on you. You wanna keep your fingers tucked under and use your knuckles as a guide. Like I said, I've already cut that up, but what you can do is you can go through and don't cut all the way through the onion. Just kind of slice it this way. It's a little bit harder now because this ain't a whole onion. You wanna slice it that way and then slice it down Don't without going all the way through to make kind of like a checkerboard pattern. And once you do that, once you cut it, it'll dice it for you. And you do the same thing with any, any round objects, but you can see the pieces are diced. And if you have any bigger piece, you just want bite size. If you have any bigger pieces, you can just cut them to where they're bite size. And that's pretty much done. Now, I'm just gonna, this will be a little bit more oniony. So we got uh, onion in this little piece. So that should be good enough. Now you see I already got the garlic here, but when you're doing a garlic clove, this is actually an elephant uh, garlic and it's pretty strong, but you just <clears throat> peel the piece off. You'll set the piece of garlic down 
put your knife on there and hit it. And when you hit it, the oils that are released will allow you to peel the skin off. And then you just trash the skin and then dice the garlic. The, the uh, lettuce, I mean the cabbage rather, all you have to do is cut it in half like this. Now I already sliced the other half, but I'll go ahead and slice this half. As you can see, and there's a fancy word for the cutting like chiffon or something like ch chiffonade. Okay, but all you have to do is go like that and make slices on the cabbage. You let the knife really do the work for you. So as long as it's a sharp knife, you ain't got a lot, put a lot of pressure on it or anything like that. And I am doing sanitary to Kettle Kitchen and Nine Acres Farm and Hendrickson Family Farm. I washed my hands prior to doing all this. And <clears throat> I do believe that's it for now. Now I'm gonna pause it. We're gonna go get the uh, camp stove started and we're gonna put the bacon in and things like that. All right guys, we're out here at the Coleman camp stove. We're gonna open this up. And you see this was the makings of the pizza oven that we didn't finish. Uh, and everything should be good to go. And we got that going. So what we're gonna do is, where's my Gonna render the bacon in here. So right now all we're gonna do is separate this bacon, drop it in the pot to render it. Like I said, the bacon's already peppered, already seasoned. I'm gonna be frying up this bacon first. It should take about probably 20 minutes to get all this done. You can hear the bacon's already crackling. Everything's better with bacon, huh? So we're just gonna let this fry up a little bit and I'll come back after it's rendered up a little bit. All right guys, we're taking the bacon out now. It's cooked up good enough. And we are not going to throw the grease from the bacon away. 
we are going to keep that in there and now what we're going to do is we're going to add the cabbage the onion the cabbage will uh, the water and everything will cook out of the cabbage so we're going to render the cabbage the garlic and the onion in that bacon grease That garlic, you can smell it. Onion. And once again, the rain is uh, messing with our plans. It's starting to rain out here. And wow, this is cooking and rendering down. I'm going to go ahead and chop up. Cook up a little bit. I'm gonna chop up this bacon a little bit. And the smaller pieces. Is your phone somewhat waterproof? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> it could be. We'll find out. And it's starting to rain. I'm going to take this inside. Now, you can cut the bacon up into pieces that you want. You don't have to chop it real small or leave it real big. Hopefully I get extra points for the bacon. But almost everybody loves bacon except for my cameraman here, which is t Rock's son. No, he'll actually eat some bacon. It's one of the rare... I feel generally positive about bacon. <laughs> <laughs> and that should be good. Cabbage. Oh. There you go. Is it gone? Yeah. And there we go. My glass is fogged up. As you can see it, it's all rendered down looks good. Uh, we're gonna we salted and peppered this just a little bit, and then we're gonna taste it and see. 
we need any more seasoning to it. Now I know belt loop would want me to burn myself, but I'm gonna blow it a little bit. <laughs> You're gonna what? <laughs> All right, guys, <clears throat> tasting it, tastes a little bit bitter. Salt takes away the bitterness of the cabbage and everything. So it's about a tablespoon. We're just gonna take it and sprinkle it around. I'll mix it up here in a second. And uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper to it. And just mix it up. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Parmesan's gonna add a little bit of salt to it. And bacon's gonna add a little bit of salt to it. So I'm gonna put the bacon in here. I'm gonna add the noodles in there. Maybe a third of them right now. You don't need a whole lot. Unless you like them. <laughs> now noodles are optional. You don't if you're keto or whatever and you don't do now, I'm not sure Tom the Keto Chef could tell me, Tom the Keto Cook, rather, could tell me, but I know, I think you can keto, I'm not real keto, but I think you can use like egg noodles or something like that for keto, or you don't have to add them at all, and I'm not sure about the onions or garlic, but mainly it's just cabbage, bacon, and seasoning, spices, and onion and garlic. And that would be it. So, I'm just gonna pour some Parmesan in here. Mix it up a little bit. And it is about a little bit under halfway, I do believe, of this Parmesan. A lot of Parmesan, it's always good. <laughs> if you don't like Parmesan, you ain't got to put it in, but the Parmesan is going to take a little bit away of the acidity as well. And that's it. We have our main course, but you don't need a side course with this. This can be a whole meal in itself. Easy to cook. 24 feet some. And then just dig in. That's awesome. Hooski. <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching the video. Once again, this is last chance cook off and uh, check out it's going on throughout the whole month check out the two other videos that are dropped today on september 1st also we're going all month so check out each video every day once again this double dog semper fi out